All right, just want to share with you a little bit on how we put the uh, boxes on here. We call it the underbelly or the, the basement. going to show these to you but basically the there's some uh, I-beams that run across here so we clamped a pipe to this and made a nice uh, shelf so we were able to do everything right here make a nice table uh, to make the frame work and it went together really easy just basically one frame that goes around here it bolted up to the uh, the bottom here and then one on the other side and then the bottom what we did was we used sheet metal and then a frame did that on the ground slid it underneath and then lifted it up in place and that gave us the bottom and then what we have here is this is toe chains some straps and there's another little shelf in here for some clamps um, this is for our solar panels basically our solar panels will stack in here but we haven't finished uh, putting it together, but we'll do some some shell, some uh, blocks here so the panels aren't banging against each other. Um, but they'll stack up. And then we've wrote on the sides here what's in each chute. These go all the way across. Um, so you have access from both sides. Now this side has a has a divider because everything from this side over is heated, um, and we'll go over that later. Um, what I mean by heated is it doesn't doesn't freeze under here, doesn't stay no 70 degrees. But as you can see, the electrical room here's uh, two Victron inverters, 2,000 watt. Um, so the reason why we have two is so we have uh, 220 to run our mini split. And then here's our water tank. There's actually six of these. And um, I'm going to go over that in another video as well. Um, but we just saddle strapped them. We just used some banding, like quarter inch by one. And we wrapped them around a, a rim off of a car. And we just bent them around and, and then bent them back. And it was the size of the barrel. And then saddle strapped them up underneath this chute here we use for our deck it's all open so we can put all our deck material in here so basically what we did here was for our solar panels um, they come through the, the door here and when, when you're not using them or in travel you just disconnect them right here and then fold this back inside and then when we when you are hooked up you just put a slot in the door and then shut the door and this piece of plastic just keeps it from rubbing. Mm -hmm. The locks here, we just ordered these. We got them all keyed the same. Well, they were supposed to be. So one side's keyed one way, one's the other way. The company, I just had shear these doors. So everything came in, sheared. I had them cut the holes in for me and we just popped them together. The piano hinge. And we put a 30 amp uh, RV plug in here so we can plug in it anywhere we need to. So there's another four drums in this section. Um, we haven't put a bottom on this section yet. Two drums ended up inside of our boxes just because we wanted more water capacity. Uh, so we stuck another two drums and we, we lost one of our we lost one of our storage chutes. But there's another four drums under here. Uh, so we just put uh, removable side panels. We bolted them 
so they just come right off and uh, that's why there's two different steps right there step right there so what we did here with the deck we used uh, we wanted it to be portable um, it does take probably at least an hour to set set the deck up two people we just used uh, these aluminum planks uh, picks for uh, the scaffolding and so it gives us I think a seven foot by 14 foot deck and we just got these two ton uh, Harbor Freight jack stands and as you can see um, they support it out here and then we just put a, a two inch receiver you can walk around this side so this is this is not something you want to pull in for a week and just set up you know maybe if you're gonna be somewhere for a couple weeks you'd want it you could use the you know you want to put the deck together um, but basically what we did was some 3 8 by inch and a half steel uh, comes up and it's welded to a pipe okay just so we could keep the same height as, as our door and then these are just wing nutted on here this this plate actually is drilled and spot welded inside this tube and then the wing nuts come off and this so it's very simple it's just four bolts and uh, that hold the frame together and then four of these uh, two ton um, stands now these will strap up underneath the back but this is just a t you know just a temporary portable one for if you're going to be somewhere for a month or two you'd want to use you know get it out and put this together so what we have here is this is our LG mini split and this since this was a reefer a refrigerated trailer so the whole thing is insulated about uh, almost three inches of foam walls floor ceiling this is where the motor was on the front so there's a big hole here so we just uh, bolted it off with some three-quarter inch plywood um, this is the only window that's not all double pane insulated windows um, this is a double pane window but it's not made for like an RV but it fit real nice our bed is our bedroom is is right there so our bed is up off the ground it's like a loft bed and our next video will be sharing that with you the layout of the inside and how the the bed uh, bedroom set up there with the the loft bed that's basically it